You may be seated. Well, brothers and sisters, I don't have the bulletin with me today, so uh, can someone illuminate for me what the offering is for today? Oh, yes. Excellent. Thank you very much. Denominational Ministry shares this morning. Um, just a reminder of how critical and important denominational ministry shares are. Denominational ministry shares, right? Remember, we pool our resources. And I know I say this a lot, but it's, it's really, really good and important. So in Canada, every charity that we have, every charitable organization has to have financial transparency. And part of their financial transparency is they say how much what percentage of the money they raise goes to the actual causes that they uh, are trying to support, like with World Vision. What percentage of the money that you give to World Vision goes actually to the families uh, and communities that are, they are working for? And World Vision is a great organization. It's wonderful. But because they are not part of a denominational ministry share system, a larger portion of what they raise has to go to overhead. It has to go to hiring and keeping staff to, uh, to solicit more donations. It has to go to advertising, essentially. It has to go to phone calls and web advertising and all that kind of stuff. It, on the other hand, if you give to an organization like World Renew, because they are part of this network of churches uh, throughout our denomination, and if you give to organizations like Faith Alive Christian Resources or Calvin College and Seminary or whatever, a much greater percentage goes actually to the people who are receiving the ministry. And so denominational ministry shares is great because, partly, um, it, you get more bang for your buck. <laughs> the money goes actually to the causes in greater percentage. Not only that, of course, but the, the work that is done, the Back to God Hour, Redeemer College University, uh, Redeemer University, Calvin University, uh, the Canadian ministries that we are part of throughout Canada resonate. So many other things. Uh, they are fantastic ministries. In terms of other uh, things, as we come to congregational prayer, uh, there are a couple of things that I wanted to highlight for you. Uh, one is that we want to be in prayer for people uh, and for safety for folk, uh, especially with this snowstorm potentially coming up. But we also want to be in prayer for all of those affected by that uh, underwater volcano eruption uh, near Tongo and uh, the tsunami uh, that uh, came in its wake and uh, the effects of that as well as other things. So let us come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you very, very much for drawing us together. We thank you also for this beautiful world that you have created and that you sustain each and every moment of each and every day. Lord, we are in awe of the things that you do in this world of the creation that you have set in motion and that you, you continue to support and sustain. Lord, we pray. We pray that as this world goes through the pangs of childbirth, that you would be merciful to the people on this planet. Father, we think of those who have been affected by the tsunami recently. Lord, we pray for them. And we ask that uh, if it is possible, in whatever ways it is possible, that we would be able to help, that we would do so. Lord, we pray also for those who are uh, possibly already, I guess, experiencing significant snow, but also, O oh God, for those who may be about to experience that in the next uh, 24, 36 hours or so. 
Lord, we pray for safety for folks, whether they be uh, plow operators or whether they be uh, police officers out on the roads and trails, or whether they be other frontline workers, paramedics, and so on, or whether they just be folks who, for whatever reason, have to travel, or folks who are isolated in their homes and unable to get out. Lord, there are so many problems that can occur with this kind of thing, and we pray for Your mercy upon people. We pray also that You would enable us to be Your hands and feet of mercy. That those of us who are able to would check in with our neighbors, check in with our friends, check in with those we know whom are vulnerable. Father, we pray too that You will be with all of those who are struggling with the various effects and side effects of our global COVID situation, O oh God. We think of students and teachers who are supposed to be returning to school on Monday, although uh, that may be delayed. Uh, Lord, we pray that You will help them, enable them to uh, transition once again back to in-person school uh, successfully. Lord, this is so much stress and strain on so many teachers and uh, school workers. And Lord, we pray for their strength and comfort. We pray also uh, in an ongoing way for all of those who are affected by work shortages, whether that be, uh, or worker shortages rather, whether that be, be because people are home in isolation or uh, whether it be because people are sick or, or um, just stress involved. Lord, we pray that You will be with uh, employers and managers and employees and volunteers all over as they struggle with the various implications of our situation. We pray too for those who are uh, those who are struggling with loneliness and isolation. We pray for those who are resorting to drugs and alcohol. We pray for those whose whose surgeries and other health care related services have been bumped because of worries of COVID stuff. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, we pray. We pray for our work. We pray for the good things that You have planned in advance for us to do. May we see them. And may we do them. In Your strength and power. And out of Your joy and love. Lord God, as we come to Your Scriptures this morning, we pray that You would continue to illuminate our hearts. May these ancient words that have been written down combine with my heart and meditations of my heart and the words of my mouth and our ears and our own hearts and souls so that together we may move forth from this place transformed and renewed and strengthened. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.